going to show you right now in RX7 Advanced um, a, a couple of uh, modules. One of them is the Dialog Contour, which is new. The other one is the Plosive, which is not new. And um, those two are the ones that I'm going to tackle uh, today. Uh, there are others that are new and for example um, dialogue isolate and music rebalance is new as well so i have prepared a recording here and i have already added some markers in here um, and um, the first thing we're going to try and uh, fix is uh, Plosives that are in the beginning of this file. The second one, which is here, will be a pitch increase in pitch. Um, and um, instead of having to uh, voice over or uh, do some ADR, which is time consuming, rather complex, and probably expensive as well, uh, you can just use dialog contour to lower that pitch in a very natural sounding way so i will show you this right now okay so this is my pitch going up as a plosive as you can hear now i'm going to select that bit and i'm going to select the deep plosive uh, module and in my case I'm going to say moderate reduction so that's a sensitivity or of 7 and a strength of 6 and now we're going to preview this um, my pitch going up and stuff so that's a lot better than what we had before if you look at the original um, my, my pitch, pitch going, going up, up and Okay, and this is the deep plosive setting. My pitch going up. There's still some plosive, but it's less than what we had. So now when I uh, select render, it will render the uh, the uh, setting uh, for the plosives um, only on the selection that I made. I can do that for the rest of the file but probably not necessary going up and stuff like that and right so that's the first thing that we fixed the second thing is i have something here that goes up in pitch so my pitch increases and i don't want that i'll let you um hear that part region of the picture so and um, i'm saying region of the picture and I don't want that, I just want it to be level. So what I'm going to do now is dialog contour, select dialog contour, and I'm going to reset the curve, and I'm going to preview. Finality of that region of the picture. So here, in this area, my tone is going up. So I'm going to select a point here, point here and a point for example here and then lower that a bit and make it a bit smoother and now I'm going to preview this piece I'm not going to scale formant and I'm not going to apply a pitch offset finality of that region of the picture and automatic so when I compare now I can see of that region of the picture. I can compare region of the picture. So it's it's a different, slightly different, but it's less even of the picture. So now at the end of this recording, I also created something a little more, a little bit more um, exaggerated, and that is. If you and uh, and that's, that's it. it, right? So that's very exaggerated. So I don't want that. So
So I'm now going to preview again. Will be covered, and, uh, and that's it. So what you now have here in this um, in this uh, little window in this little frame here is a preview of what it looks like and I can even stretch that out and you see that I'm starting here by going upwards in pitch so I'm going to position a point here and a point here and a point somewhere in the middle and as it is rather exaggerated I'm going to go way down and I'm going just smoothen that a little bit perhaps a bit more no form and scaling, no pitch offset, and now let's review. It will be covered, and, uh, and that's it. And now I'm happy with the result, and I'm going to render. And there you go. And here I sound more certain of myself. So these are uh, two things that you can um, do with RX7 Advanced. Uh, there's a lot more, but uh, that's for a later presentation.